Welcome to Little Craft Nest. My name is Nisha and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use glyphs or special characters in Cricut Design Space and I will be doing that on my Mac computer. Now keep in mind if you have a PC the process is a little different. So what exactly are glyphs? Glyphs are the little characters that you sometimes see at the beginning or ends of words or even often in the middle. They can be in the form of lines, swishes, swirls, or even hearts, and they add embellishment to your text. So let's jump onto the computer and get started. Now before we get started, if you've never downloaded fonts to your computer before to use in Cricut Design Space, I highly recommend that you first watch my video on how to do that. And I'll leave that link down below in the description so you can find that video. So the first thing I'm going to do is write some text. And Valentine's is coming up, so let's just type the word Valentine's. So right now we're just using the Cricut Sans font, but we are going to change our font. The Cricut Sans font here does not have any special characters that we will be using. And not every font does have special characters, only some of them. And most of the fonts will be fonts that you have downloaded to your computer. So I recently downloaded a font called Jealous. So I'm going to type that in here and here is the font. Now you'll notice it just looks like a regular old font. There's nothing too fancy about it. But we know this font comes with some fun special characters. So in order to find those, we're going to have to open an app in our computer called Fontbook. So you're going to head over to the launch pad on your computer. And mine is located under Others. And you're going to see this app called Fontbook. And it looks like one of those old little phone books that you used to write your contacts information in it. And it has four A's on the front of it and it's gray. So we're going to click on that and open it up. Now the font we are using is called Jealous. So we're going to go over to the top search bar here and type that in. And here you'll see all the characters of the font. So at the top here you just see all the regular characters. And as we scroll down you will see more characters. So now starting here, you can see some that have a little swoosh at the beginning of the letters. And if we keep scrolling, you'll see some here with a swoosh at the end. And then if we keep going again, we'll see some letters with swirls. And here's some bigger swooshes. And we keep going down. And now we see some letters with some little hearts on them. Now you're wondering, how do I get these letters into Design Space? And it's actually rather simple. So the first letter in our word is the letter V. So let's look for the letter V and see if we can find one that's a little fancy. So right here we have the letter V with a little heart at the beginning of it, which is kind of cute. So we're just going to click on that and then we want to copy it. So on your keyboard, you can press Command C to copy. And then we're going to click back over to Design Space and click on our text box. Now we're going to put our cursor at the front of the word and we're going to delete that first V there. And then we're going to press Command V to paste. And now we have our fancy little V there. Now you may want to add a fun little character to the end as well. So let's go look for an S with a little heart on it. So again, we'll pull up font book and let's scroll here to find something. Depending on the font, you could really spend a long time deciding which letters you want to change. So let's pick this little S here. We're going to go Command C to copy and go back in to Design Space. We're going to delete our old S and Command V to paste to add our new one. And now Valentine's has a cute little swirl at the end. Let's see if we can also change the letter T in the middle. So back to font book. And here's a T here with a cute little heart. So let's copy that. Go back in, delete our original T and add our new one. And now Valentine's just got a whole lot cuter. And so it's really that simple. You could play around with the letters all you want, but it's just as simple as copying and pasting. So if you want to see how this word originally looked, let's type in Valentine's again. And there you can see the fun embellishments that we added. So if you're ever wondering if the font you're using has glyphs, all you have to do is go over to font book, search for your font that you're using and scroll through the letters to see if there are any special characters.
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments. And if you're interested in crafting and Cricut tutorials, don't forget to press that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. And I hope to see you on more crafting adventures.